conversation, never on no block. Leave me by the ball. Bars open. Bars open. Bars open. Bars open. He asked, he Googled, which is the worst zodiac sign? And what'd he say? It says, the negative signs associated with zodiac are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, <laughs> and Cancer. The positive signs associated with zodiacs are Aries, Geminis, Leos, Libras, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. Well, Google lies sometimes. So <laughs> it's all good. Period. Google need, to, Google need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Google, hi. <laughs> what's up, Nikki? Yeah, what's up? You is irritating. <laughs> we need to delete Google. Google need to get fired. No, Google don't. I Google everything. Everybody Google everything. I'm but a doctor. That, that's not. That's not accurate for sure. No, but the one you posted I was. See, the one you posted as far as what, the best signs to date? Yeah, somebody somebody sent that to me. And you posted Virgo. Yeah. I've dated a Virgo. Actually, I don't I don't I don't really care about the signs. I just don't like Tauruses for sure. I hate Taurus. And I Y'all don't, are the same. No, we're not. And Libras Y'all for sure I just the keep, same. I keep running into Libras and Leos is liars for sure. Libras are liars too. Leos and Libras. That's why they're with the L. Victim Virgos. Virgos with the V. Sagittarius. Satan. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're going to call it. Uh, Saint. Saint Sagittarius. Slow. <laughs> super. Superhero. Sagitt- Very much. I love that. I love that for me. <laughs> like, what? That's you. What you I mean? love being spoiled, bro. Like, what are you talking about? That's ridiculous. Why? How you take the S and put it wherever you want to put it with the uh, Sagittarius? Y'all not, y'all not special. Violent Virgos. We can get violent. I know. It can get serious. It can. You go to the I'm left. I'm chill though. Like I'm real chill. I I literally just be. I'll be too focused though. I think that. Are you a um August Virgo or Oh, I'm a September first. Oh duh. I should have known that, huh? No, not really. Good. That's good though. So I don't like September Virgos. <laughs> like I like August what? Virgos. What's like so Sad why is it good? September. So why is it good? That's good that you cause I'm right about you. Like, if it was, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything I'd be saying about you was right. That's because you just, you, you're you not balanced yourself, so you're trying to throw it off on. That's messed up. You can't do that. You shouldn't do that. Okay. That's not okay. That is okay for me. I don't like y'all burgers. How was your day today? Whew. I had a day. <laughs> and it was a day. My day was a day because who cries at work? Yeah. I'm a sucker. I wouldn't call it a sucker. You just call it overwhelmed. Sometimes you get overwhelmed with things. That's so embarrassing. I wouldn't cry at work, but yeah. You see the way I be talking about that. I'm talking to them, but they're all over. Shit, I bet they be going through it. Like, what is wrong with this? Who broke it? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? My job hates me. I don't but they, they hate won't. You. No, they don't. They lo- I'm entertainment there. They be like, please, you're in some super. Please put this back together. <laughs> I'll be coming in there like on 10 every day. Yeah, I'll fire you. They won't fire me. Because they probably feel like you're going to come back with a lawsuit or something. Why? I'll be happy to be. Is it all women? I mean, how many women is there? Women. Four. Four girls. And how many guys? Like 15. Okay. Do the other women act like that? No, I'm the worst. I'm the diva. I'm the only black woman. I believe that. There, yeah. I don't care. You not supposed to. <laughs> Whoever did it, we go out to find. We who who is your mama or your daddy? For spoiling me, yes, both. I'm my dad's first child for like twelve years, ten yeah. or twelve years, 
And I'm my mom's only child. Oh, well. Can't nobody tell me nothing. That's bad. That's why I don't want to have just one. Well, I'm, uh, you know what it is? I'm happy my son has a, has a brother now because he can get out of the stages of being. It's too late. No, it ain't. He he's, don't, he don't act he's, spoiled. He doesn't act spoiled. Please. He probably yeah. don't act spoiled with y'all, but. I'm sure he acts spoiled with his, his the other people, <laughs> grandma and things like that, but he don't act spoiled with me. Because you're the dad. Like, I feel like boys and their fathers, they have a different type of relationship. Like, no boy is going to want to act spoiled to his dad because y'all so tough. Y'all put on that. You know what I'm saying? So you think you think he'd be acting like like hard in front of me? Like Yeah, of course. What he son? Be big, yeah, he do do that. He be, he be trying to flex on me. Today he, was in, he came in the room and he um, did some pull-ups in front of me. He's like, yeah, dad. <laughs> I was like, nigga, get out of my room. I'm saying, like, he did the pull ups, like, yeah, dad, you <laughs> said you was going to work out the first episode. I'm like, nigga, get out of my room, bro. I'm telling <laughs> you, and girls and mothers, I like, I spoil my kid, but we we like to shop. We do girly stuff. We don't really like each other, but. Y'all both should be broke. KK should be broke. <laughs> Since we haven't, you know what? That's how I think they took that <laughs> on my fucking account because she ordered Amazon every day. So it was maybe it was a back charge. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon back charge. Like, hey. and maybe they're like, I want my money broke. It's not. Sis, I be getting the alerts because she's on my Amazon Prime. Oh, man. What did she be ordering? Like. <laughs> like just random stuff Let's like be hair supplies weaves she even ordered a wig i think <laughs> oh my god she's out of con- i can't i'm not having no more kids bro yeah well that's crazy no more kids no more kids i can't do it how was your day my day was productive I'm always having a productive day. You are. He's like positive. (laughs) You (laughs) call him. He's excited about something. I'm like, okay. (laughs) I'm the Debbie down there. I gotta. No, I gotta. I have a. I have goals. Like every year, I feel like I fall short for what I be doing. And when I start off the year and it's gas, I be on it. I gotta stay on it. If I don't, I'm a fall. I'm a fall. So. So what makes you fall? Just like. Just negative. People, distractions negative. Yeah distractions I've been doing good though Been doing real good That's good Virgo yeah. Today Today was that. Productive though I did sleep a lot But I got um, A few phone calls done For some new Definitely slept a lot Cause I texted you Early in the morning Yeah I was knocked out <laughs> I woke up at 7 For a call That was 10 o'clock New York time And then I Went back to sleep And got a call Today at 1 o'clock And then I got up and I think I went back to sleep. See, lucky you. I'm uh, while you sleep, I'm crying at work. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I'm Ain't off today. This shit. Is off the day. I need to be off. I want to be off tomorrow too. I had a, I had a cool day. Trying but that's to good. Perfect my um my ability to to close sales and things like that because it's what's needed. Marketing ideas, it's needed. That's something I need to learn one day. Just not today. You'll I don't feel it. like this is this is my year of learning about marketing, honestly. I feel like I got to like get on my shit when it comes to marketing. What do you what do you feel like you lacking in uh, with marketing? Posting. Well, we talked about that. <laughs> we definitely <laughs> we talk talked about, about that. And I'm just like, why am I just why do you ever get like do you ever feel stuck? Like, you just feel like you have all these ideas and you just stuck. I don't understand why I keep, when it comes to marketing, I'm stuck. I think it's because I'm I'm overthinking things. Like, when to post. How should this content look? Yeah. Is this ugly? I don't like it. Then you go look you at the other. You got a big problem with that. I do. Like, I'm, I got to work on that. You you I mean it's good to be a perfectionist though. You want you want everything to be how you want it to be. Right. That's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> yeah, but yeah. But it's standing in my way because then I won't post. Or you gotta well, if you if you could, you gotta look into who's doing it 
how you want to do it. Right. And model yourself after that and just perfect it from there. I think this year is a year for me to be a student. You feel like you haven't been a a student and listening? (laughs) I think so, too. I don't want to say that out loud. (laughs) (laughs) I think you got it, though. You've been doing a lot. Again, people don't get except they they roses, but you've been doing a lot of posting and you've been doing a lot of marketing. You have slowed down because I used to say it every day, and I'd be like, huh. I know. You know, you're not doing it as much, but you can pick it back up. I know, I have content up the wall. You need to, every time you do some nails, every time you do whatever, you just got to record it. You just got to always have a, hey, I'm going to have a camera in your face. Sign this NDA. Right. Sign this waiver. Right. you right. you right. I got to learn how to um, be okay with communicating that, though. Oh, because you'd be nervous? Like, I don't know if I should tell them they don't have yeah, a camera. Yeah, they got a camera all up in their face. It just is that that goes with the hustle. It's the way you say it. It's the way you deliver it. Because, you know, everybody don't like to be on camera. Like, I know me personally. Like, if I was to go get my nails done, <laughs> says, no, I don't have time for you to read. Like, I need you to do my nails. You because that should take... You want to know why? Because when you're recording, and although I want you to perfect my nails regardless, you just tend to go a little bit slower. And I'm just not. That's like my barber. (laughs) (laughs) You started talking to that nigga. We've been in this chair for two, three hours. Wow, you was never going to get out here. Shout out to Fudd. He'd been doing my my, my hair for a long time, but he'd be chopping it up. That's how, that's what I'm saying. So imagine. Recording somebody and then <laughs> trying to have a conversation because depending on what type of content you're trying to dish out, you feel me? Like, what if it's a girl talk in the nail salon or whatever it might what be? She, what if she's talking about her boyfriend <clears throat> and she mad and then she get your shit wrong? Right. <laughs> your shit crazy, like, what? <laughs> And see, cut too far <laughs> in the cuticle, like. I'm telling you, but I mean it's therapeutic at the same time, so she might not. Get your me. cuticles cut too far. No, it's talking about y'all, man. Oh. <laughs> Relationship talking is because some everybody needs a event somewhere. Yeah, and I feel like the perfect place is when you go to the hair salon, the nail shop, the barber shop. I'm sure for you men, like yeah, for the most part, y'all talk y'all shit. Y'all with the guys, y'all can talk y'all shit. I usually, um, I yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I was about to lie. Honestly, <laughs> mine is always over a drink. Can't talk my shit with. A, where's my alcohol? Can't talk my <laughs> shit with my alcohol. You, had, you, you had to think about me? it. Like, wait so a minute. like, gotta talk my shit with alcohol. So yeah. So now I'm trying to incorporate liquor and nails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to get some of these sponsors. That's yeah. Definitely. Liquor and nails. Liquor and nails. Liquor and nails. I like Check that. Check you out coming up with new Period. ideas live. Period. Live. Shout out to Grandi Amante while we're here talking about liquor. Mm-hmm. Um, our luxury partners to, to, to tequila. Yeah, shout out to them. I had tequila last night. Last night? What did you do last night? I seen you was out. I you went on a date. You <clears throat> posting pictures. I seen drinks. I went on a, you seen one drink because, drink. you seen one drink. That, how many times was you going to post that same drink then? As many times as possible. She don't be drinking, y'all. <laughs> she, be, she be sipping for sure because that I was the two, same drink in two posts. Like, I had two lemon drops. Actually, I didn't have tequila last night. I had so you had two lemon drops? I had two There was lemon. two drinks then? No, you only <laughs> see me post that one drink. Dang. You know how people be on Instagram and they be like, they post one drink and they be like, number one. Post yeah, three, you only two. see me post number one. So I said first times? drink for the year, and that was it. Don't and then I posted part. me. No, because then me and him did a boomerang, right? And he DM'd Thank me. You. Sorry, boo, I got to tell this. He Uh-oh. DM'd me, like, I see you didn't post our right, boomerang. I was going to say, I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, wait a minute. Why Do girls do? don't post men when we're on dates? Because we accept other date offers. Like, no. <laughs> no, I was just playing. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense now. Pay attention. She's giving the game up. <laughs> I'm just playing. Nah, but she for not real. Playing. That's not good. Yeah, I don't post when I'm on a... I would say that I'm on a date. Like, this year, honestly, I don't... Usually, I don't give a fuck. Mm. 
I would literally say I'm on a date. But I found it kind of like when I did post when I was on dates before. You would lose your... Uh, I would lose my date, my other <laughs> date guy. Other <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I don't want to lose my meals. So, hey, wait, I love I to so, eat. You got to get on my hoes back now. You, just, you made me lose some hoes. I need them back. So yeah, I don't like to post when I'm on dates. Even though you can That's tell because... Do you so when you when you start dating somebody or when you get to know somebody, do you let them know that you're talking to other people? Mm-hmm. Off top? If they ask. Oh. So we go ahead and go tell. If yeah. you ask me, do I talk to other people? Me personally, I don't talk to other people. Mm, you lying now. So <laughs> you just said No, well, go because ahead, go ahead. I'm not gonna get you. Me personally, I don't talk to other people because I don't like being bothered. We talking okay. about me here, right. but I do accept dates. So, am I going on dates with other people? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Am I talking to other people? No, I barely answer people text Wait, messages. So, what's the difference between dating and talking? Is it like because I, um, you know, men when when we when we are reaching out to somebody we potentially like, we looking at that as a date. We're not looking at it as we just taking y'all somewhere to to, oh. to get a burger. <laughs> Well, me per se. Well, I'm, me if per I'm se. Reaching out, like I'm like I'm in, I'm interested in you, so I'm trying to get to know you a little bit. If I take you out, I'm really trying to get to know you. So one of the guys that I'm talking to asked me that question today because mm. he asked me if I went on a date yesterday, and I said, <laughs> uh, kind of. <laughs> okay, do <laughs> tell. Because for me, it's yes, a date, but we also hanging out as friends. I don't know. Maybe I'm not making sense of this. No, you're not. Okay, well, next go ahead, subject. Go ahead, no, no, go ahead. Nah, go ahead. I go just, ahead. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes when um, when you go on dates or whatever, or you go out to hang, if it's not said that this is just, this is this, then you get the holding hands. Then right. Then you get the rubbing and you get the kissing right. and touching and, you know what I'm saying, it gets romantic. So how do you determine what's a date and what's just us? Going out and chilling. My vibe with you. Okay, so so I try to <laughs> I try to communicate that with the guy too, but sometimes it's hard because some men are just creeps and they stand firm with no, this is a date, and to me it's no, this is you taking me to go get some food. You know what I mean? I feel like if you said that though, I don't think that it'd be. You not taking it, me anymore. It wouldn't be on. A, it wouldn't be a date, and they'd be like, "Okay, we going as you know, as friends, just to chill and hang out." So I'm bringing the homies with me too. <laughs> so I'm bringing wait, the homies are with me too. Are you making me pay the bill too? Nah, I, I mean, okay, I, I, yeah, okay. No, so that's I'm bringing cool. The homies I don't too. care like, who the fuck you bring. Oh, you you want to come? You want to go out? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see if the, other, the homies want to come too because we all gonna just chill. That's but what I would it do. Won't like be the setting that I want. <laughs> <laughs> like no. unless we all just at the the unless your homies I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. If it's not that, then you we hanging out as friends. Like it's yeah, we cool. We, we it's, it's not a date. And I if I f- get, got at you like that, then it would it would be I'm interested in you. Like I wouldn't just want to hang out with you just because that's wasting time. Unless you're one of my friends. I got female friends I go and eat with, but that's different. I don't I know you, so like... I'm reaching out because I'm interested in you, and I'm like, let's go chill, hang out. We'll, I feel like some people I just already put in that category. <laughs> like, oh, I do want to date him. So if he was to ask me, like, if I'm interested in a guy and that guy mm-hmm. asks me on a date, then to me that's a date. But if I'm not interested y'all in you. Some, <laughs> y'all be having some hidden. Y'all, what, what, what does that mean? I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I might not be <laughs> I'm, I'm not getting saying. that though. How? I don't understand that. It's my vibe with you. So like So if, okay, what if you okay, so you're going on a date with him and you don't like him, right? Off top. I didn't say I didn't like I'm, him. I'm asking the question because vibe, it's about to turn into something. Okay, got You go on a date with somebody right. and you really don't, you're not feeling them like that. Right. But you still go. Right. You in your mind like I'm not really feeling. I just want to go get this steak real quick. <laughs> but then you get I on a date. I had sushi last night, but uh-huh. You had sushi? <laughs> That's <laughs> expensive. <laughs> anyway, so you go on a date, mm. you get the sushi, we go on sushi. You get the sushi and then after he played for the sushi, now you like kinda like him a little bit more. Now does at that point does it turn into a date? But why do I like him? Because he paid for the sushi. Y'all could have a conversation. Okay. I'm saying like okay. after you go on a after you go on a date not then, liking yeah. this person and then you get to the sushi. I get what you saying. Not saying that you like him because of the sushi. Right. What kind of sushi was it though? 
Um, I had a dragon row. So this is the thing. He <laughs> I, okay. Before he took me, he asked me what I like to eat, and I told him my favorite food was seafood. Okay. And I'm one of those type of people. Like he took me to Ocean Prime. Cool. <laughs> That's a date. <laughs> That's a date. <laughs> I would have took your ass to El Torito. <laughs> we would have been in El Torito. Like, what's that name? <laughs> okay, it was a date. And it was a cool date. We talked, you feel me, or whatever. Okay. It was uh, a date. My, okay, cool. Mine was, when you, do you, have you been on a date? All right, scenario. Have you been on a date with somebody where you didn't like them at first, and then after y'all got past the sushi, you started liking them? <laughs> yeah. You been on one of those? Yes. Yeah. Women are so crazy. Because of the conversation. So, like, sometimes. Rethink smooth. You don't know a person until you actually okay, hold a so conversation with that you person. Just being you know? optimistic, yeah. Gotcha. So, I'm just, I'm one of those, let me risk it. Let me try something new. <laughs> what the stupid. hell? Let's hang out Russian if you want to. <laughs> Like, yeah. I'm one of those because, I mean, you can't judge a book by its cover, right? And sometimes when you get into a conversation with somebody, you realize, like, dang, we really vibe. We really click. So so what is, what is your type when you get it? Like, say, for instance, somebody on Instagram. Instagram is, like, the only thing that you, I can compare yeah, it to. Yeah, facts. Um, what, what do you look for in order to be <clears throat> like, okay, I'm going to go on this date with this person? Before communicating with them? Yeah, before actually talking to them. Right. Like, they... they they slide in your DM at one, and like all your pictures type shit. Mm. Every day. I get that. I feel like I go to their page. I'm looking at everything. I'm looking at show pictures. I'm looking like at what you got on in your mm-hmm. pictures. I'm looking at if you flex a lot. I'm looking at these comments because sometimes you got your booze in the comments with the whoop de whoop whoops. Oh, so you do research. I do research because even if I accept your date offer and we go on this date and I'm having conversation with you. And I just so happen to, like, not even test you because I feel like that's a manipulation type of thing. But I just so happen to listen to what you're saying and notice, like, yeah, no, I didn't see that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Are and you no, asking specific questions to, to test I do. People? That's manipulation. No, too. I don't. Not to test them. But I do ask them questions. I'm like, normal. I The date last night, I told him, like, we did not ask date questions. And what did y'all do, like? Could I ask? Could I ask details on your date? <laughs> yes, you can ask okay. details. I mean, I, I mean, we, we don't have to. We it. Oh, okay. What y'all talk about? Business? Y'all talk about pleasure? Y'all talk about? <sighs> He's trips gonna and... kill me because I'm the most honest, blunt person, and I can't. You ain't gotta say no you. names though. No, I'm not gonna say no names, but he's gonna know <laughs> who I'm talking about. But I feel like. I should have asked him what sign he was. <laughs> he probably was a Sagittarius. <laughs> Nah, he probably was a Leo, to be honest, because he was so into himself. Like, he'll ask me a question about work, and as I'm answering it, he'll interrupt that and then tell me about his what he do at his you sure job. You sure you went to Virgo? I do that all the time. You know what? That probably you sounds probably have to ask right. a question. You probably have to ask a question. But I don't do it on purpose. You me. do do that. I did, I did it today He's for sure. Pro- I think he is a Virgo. Okay. See? Y'all had a good flag. date, though, right? I mean, yeah, it was cool. So now you don't like him because you're Virgo. <laughs> you don't even know if you're Virgo. Like, you just, it's automatically in the your head that you hate fucking that. Virgos. What the fuck? <laughs> that is I get so turned off. I'm so sorry. That's just, funny. No, nah, it was it was a good day. And he was such a gentleman. I love how, like, Virgo. of course, he opened doors. That's number one for me. Like, I'm not. The minute you don't touch a door. I would have walked around. I'm never. No, let me tell you. I won't get out the car. Like, I'm not getting out the car. Well, you got to you gotta open it both times? Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, I'm saying yes. I, do, I, do, I do those things if, I, if I'm, if you know, courting or whatever. That I do that. I hope so. I would do it. I would if, do it. I would only do it. if you're courting. No, like, I would do it throughout. Oh. But it just depends on how I feel about you because you get some levels <laughs> to that shit. You, you start off here. Okay. And then you end up. If you get down here, it's no more door opening. No. Wow. No, it's like you 
open your own door. Let's go. Come on. See, I will <laughs> argue. I've been in like I've <clears throat> argued with my nigga. See, when he start and doing he that shit, I'm like, get open up. the door for oh, me. Yeah, that nigga's good. You better go get I him miss, back. I miss, I miss that. Yeah, because it's back. Like, go get him back. Him back. I know, because I'll probably never get that again. But then it didn't. I, I might be capping here because I might or may not. But I know for a fact that I've not opened some doors on purpose. Yeah, yeah. I feel that though. So I like feel girl. that, but you opening my door, period. <laughs> like, and then I love how he like, cause sometimes I I don't realize that I'm walking on the wrong side, cause you know men I are supposed to. That's, yeah, man, he. I love how he was like, hey, I my wait. friends and my girl, like you. you yeah, yeah. That's I just, love that. That just, that just. But a lot of men do not do that, and a lot know. of times it's like. I have to tell him, like, sir, what are you doing? Walk on the side. I never learned that. I I, I just automatically did that. That's cr- and I don't know that's how great. I, I learned that, but I automatically do that. Yeah, that's not in a lot of men's straight, and that's a turn off. Yeah, and that's not a date. Some women, I don't think some women even pay attention <clears throat> to that shit though. I do, yeah. I do, because I have my daddy. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> my dad was in my life. Shout out to the dads that enter kids' exactly. life. Exactly. So he taught me how, man, even though he's horrible, <laughs> but he taught me certain traits that a man should have when you're dating them. And that's, that's I noticed those type of things. So, yeah, he's a potential person that I would date. But he's a Virgo, so you just threw him in the trash. He's either a Virgo or Leo in, or a Libra. Should, and regardless, those are, all three of those are going in the trash. <laughs> like I can't d- Leos are into they self Sagittarius are too They're all about they self I, Whoa I, I, I didn't punch you did I? You just said a whole bunch about Virgos I didn't do none of that What is all that about? No What is that about? We are teachers You cannot be into yourself if you're a teacher New subject Cause your, <laughs> <laughs> your ass You uh, are into yourself for sure and I only said one thing, you just had a heart attack. Right now. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm into myself. I you feel like are. that's the problem with me. I'm you, not too I'm not as into myself as I should be. It's not a bad thing, but you are. You okay, are well fuck you. I'm into myself there and that's oh. I'm probably never gonna get dates again. <laughs> Why? Because it is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're that. gonna be like, I'm not but you know, I'm a vibe. So no matter what, there like I'm a fucking vibe and men. I could have a bad date and they still want to go back on a date with me. And it's, it's like, why? Why? Well, because I'm a vibe. I just cussed you out. I said your mama was a whore and you still want to take me out? No, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm a vibe. I'm fun. I like to do different things. I don't, I'm not a picky eater. I'm actually reasonable. How do you eat your wings? With a fork and a knife. Yeah. yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No way. Uh-uh. Why? Women, why do why do women do that? Because who, who's getting their nails dirty? Eat the fucking wings. Who's getting I, their I nails? I like a woman to pick that fucking wing up and go to... It's not that I, I won't go to town with it. With it. Bougie Matuji. It's not even about... I don't want to get my nails dirty. That is hard to get them. shit. No, it's actually hard to get food from in between your nails sometimes, especially if you wear them short, which I usually do not. But I'm just saying, I'm classy to throw them pinkies up and... No Wings I'm like not. the small wings With a fork I eat everything With a fork and a knife You, you fan set up I had to say Okay I had to period say, I had to say You fan set up For sure I do <laughs> Men like that Do they I would look I at mean, you Like you crazy I, If I'm eating a burger I'm fucking my burger up Like it doesn't You feel what I'm saying Yeah you eat a burger Like you eat a burger But wings You supposed to eat wings Like you supposed to eat wings if it's lemon pepper, cool. If it's barbecue or any, no, I'm eating it with a fork. Okay, so it's got. So be, it got depends yeah. on if it's wet or dry rub. Right. So okay. like hot wings, I'll eat. If it's not too wet, I'll eat it with my hands. I don't mind getting. Look, um, I was in that restaurant real ghetto last night, but in the classy the sushi? way. How you do that? <laughs> How you do that with the sushi though? Because we was goofy. I was loud laughing. He was laughing. What's like, the name of the restaurant you went to? I said Ocean Prime. Oh, yeah, my bad. I just drew a blank. But yeah, yes. they had sushi? Yeah. I ain't never been there. They they ain't has, never been with the bad. He originally <laughs> took me because he asked me what I wanted, and I said I love seafood. So he assumed Prime. that 
I was going to get the seafood platter. I didn't know how his pockets was, so I got the sushi. I felt like I did good, right? Yeah. Because I wanted that salmon, but I also wanted more lemon drops. So it was like... What you going to do? <laughs> you, got, you got choices. You got choices. You either going to do the lemon drop or you going to do the, <laughs> the sushi. Do you want to be full or you want to be drunk enough to talk to him after this? Oh, God. Which one you want? And I wanted to be drunk enough to talk. And just in case, I got into that little mood where I was just like, yeah, I can fuck That's with you tonight. Crazy. But yeah, what's no. the worst date you ever been on? I know you because you, you say you. What's the worst? Like say a worst date. The worst date I ever been on was with a sugar daddy. I think he was almost gonna throw me off his boat. <laughs> it was, it was bad. It was like. Was you drunk or what? What was it? No, I was sober, and I think that was the problem. What, he was racist, and I, he didn't realize that I was a fully black woman because of my nose, and he literally said it. Mm. And I said, "What the? What did you think I was?" And I know you probably was <laughs> pressing too. Yeah, because he was talking about black men. Oh yeah, well. like he was telling me like I shouldn't date black men. They're lazy. They this or that. Is it true? I shouldn't date black men, what and that's why fuck? I got my British boo. No, Do you want know. some tea? No, no. I'm I right. said it get out. Do you want some tea? <laughs> <You're a dick. laughs> no, I love black men. You was about to get thrown off a boat. I was going to get defending the black man. That's what's up. High five. Appreciate you. Period. Because you say you, you almost got fed to the sharks for for us men. Why? Black I'm men. still, I don't think I'm going to marry a black man, though. Well, well, well you shall see. But it's I will lot, defend you It's a lot of um, uh, spiritual warfare going on when it comes to men. Black men and black women are men and women right now. So you never know what's going to happen. Like all of the different vlogs and podcasts that are doing the man versus women and all that stuff yeah. like that i feel like that tears down yeah the culture us. like as men and y'all y'all as women like i feel like that's just ter- like we'll look we'll look at them we well we don't have um nobody that's tearing down women like that y'all tear down yourself with the dates anyway <clears throat> excuse me what nothing um but it's a lot of men that's bashing men that's it's a lot of men bad. that's bashing women. Look Ooh. at that one podcast. I'm gonna go with, follow them. Okay, the one podcast <laughs> with Fizz and Feathers. I don't know Fizz their names. Feathers? They bashing women. That's all, especially black women. Like that's literally all they do on that fucking show. I but I do know what you're talking about yeah. because there is a lot of podcasts right now that's out that defends us women from black. Like it's black men defending us, black women, but. That's what we need because honestly, yeah, we don't he, get he, that, they go hard. and that's good because they ain't lying either. But everybody not what they pushing though, like that don't make no sense. And that's fact. They they I feel like they're projecting their own shit onto other people. I don't think that they're because the guy the Derek the Derek Jackson guy, and then it's another guy who's talking about if you ain't got the money. Don't ask her out. I know which guy. The little light-skinned guy with the pretty eyes. Yeah. Okay, so those two, I get what you're saying. Derek, he gives great advice, but he doesn't take his own advice. So So he's a hypocrite. hypocrite. Let's just put that, call a spade a spade. I'm I'm not not bashing them, but I'm I'm bashing the fact of how they bashing men, black men, and they're they're tearing the the line in between men and women. Black men and black women. I like I like the ones that they're not too much bashing, but it's like kind of the like ones. get your shit together. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. You know who I love, Marcus, Doctor Love, Doctor Black Love. I forgot. I gotta look at right, his name. Um, he was on Love and Hip Hop. He is the one who dated. Well, they're married now. Brooke or whatever. She was a singer. Brooke. Mm-hmm. I forgot her name. Her last name, but. He does, like, he basically gives advice. Yeah. But to both, black women that's and the, black, it's about black love. You that's feel what me? it is. That's what yeah, it's supposed to be. So I love Everybody him. not perfect. Like, nobody's, no, I can't say that I'm perfect by anything. Yeah, like, no, I'm, for sure. I'm, you're not. Okay. <laughs> anyway. You're not. Nobody's perfect. Not. So to to just bash, 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 instead of, like, giving the the, the proper advice to, 
to, to help to help yeah versus just like you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong but you we as men are not brought up certain type of ways right we learn certain things on our own like i said i learned by myself just off of who i am how to make sure that i'm walking on the outside or the street most men are not groomed that right. Way. right so instead of bashing you should be doing more so that yeah. nurturing the situation and trying to make sure that they get the proper training instead yeah. of being like if you ain't oh, and it's like damn bro like because it, it really starts from home like yeah. where do you learn this these traits from and if you don't have anyone to teach you at a young age you kind of you kind of either learn on your own or you don't right and sometimes somebody really like i really believe in sometimes you have to teach a person how to love you sometimes you have to teach a person how to treat you right because first of all we're all different right and everybody wants to be treated differently like no woman wants to be treated how you treated the last 10 women you feel me so if she didn't give you attitude because she accepted certain things don't come to me thinking it's gonna be the same thing and i'm accepting <laughs> certain things so it, it's love never, me in my range yeah, you feel it's me? never gonna be that way because exactly. everybody's different so exactly exactly that like so yeah. yeah it does need to be taught i feel like with our community we need to do more teaching than anything because we bashing. do have a lot to learn still Stop bashing because we Facts. still we as a black culture at we are just now not just now but we're on a come up when it comes to learning business yeah. and business strategies and real estate and stock market like that was all for Others, yeah. not saying it is. You know, I'm not a racist, but white people versus black people. Now we're in that space. We're we're in those conversations, in those offices, and and making those plays. And that's what I feel like. Yeah, and I feel like dope. we're not building a lot of black homes. You get, you oh, know what I'm yeah, saying? Everything yeah. is interracial, and I don't have any problems with anybody dating whoever they want to date or whatever but i just feel like we need to start really building and loving on our people we need to build more black communities the only way we're gonna do that is, is but is, we hate each stop other stop bashing yeah, yeah. Stop <laughs> bashing and start nurturing you know right, what I'm saying? Like, right, right everybody's not perfect like all of our all of all of our women and all of our men all of our men, all of y'all, all of y'all men, <laughs> I are like, in, either I'm... in jail and they're coming out. It's they're institutionalized and their yeah. mind is not on some of the stuff that's going on out here. And it's everything is rapid pace, so it's like it's learning all over again. And there you got men who you know what I'm saying, or had to either their parents died or they wasn't born or grew up or grown or grew up with their father, so it's like they don't know, and then their father don't know, so it's like right. We, I'm learn. I'm I'm starting with my son though. He gonna learn. He's gonna learn everything from business, from Good. stocks. I was talking to him today about real estate. Period. I told him. I said. I told him about his two hundred dollars in his pocket. I said, "What you gonna do with your two hundred dollars?" He was like, "I'm a uh, what do you say? Buy something." I'm like, "Look, <clears throat> I had to give him a rundown." I was like, "Say that your um your two hundred your two hundred dollars with two hundred thousand dollars, right? We gonna just make believe. If there's a house." That's one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You could take twenty thousand dollars of your one fifty mm-hmm. and buy a house. <laughs> I just give them the whole. Once you get me with numbers, it just went in my head. It, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I basically I was, like, was breaking uh... down. He did the same thing though. He was like, "What?" I'm like, "Bro, it's just take like, your twenty thousand dollars, put it down. This is the down said, payment like, yeah. on the house." On a duplex, you can get a duplex for one fifty in like Ohio. Oh, for real? Yeah. So your mortgage oh, on a, on a, on something like that would probably be like fifteen hundred to two thousand, and you could charge rent up to twelve hundred dollars. Right. If you got two doors, that's right. What twenty four hundred dollars minus that fifteen hundred dollars? That's nine hundred dollars passive income. Damn. So I was teaching so him. You, I was teaching yeah. him that, telling him that, and I was telling him about stocks. Like, what does he like? I asked him, "What do you like?" He said. He said Fabulous Burger. Fabulous Burger ain't got no fucking stock options. They don't. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. No, they don't. <laughs> so I'm like, think about something else that said Tesla. So we looked up Tesla. And Tesla's stock yeah, started. We got like, no Tesla. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I t- I, but I'm saying Tesla, though. Right. Tesla stocks are at $107, and $107 right now. That's I said, you could, take, you could take your $200 and invest it in Tesla. You get two shares. Now, if Tesla go up, to two thousand dollars from that hundred dollars you put in there, you just won. Yeah, I'm still waiting. Let me check my. So phone that's real that's. Quick, I was giving them that game, but I, I wasn't giving that game. My uncle taught me about 
business, so it's yeah. a lot of things I know about that. But I'm starting with my son to to, to groom him because our black culture got to keep growing. Yeah, I'm not trying to. I'm gonna teach him how not to bash women. We not gonna listen to these pop. I'm gonna block those podcasts. That's what I'm gonna do. I mean, I, don't like I follow them. some on our page. So, <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. I think don't block them, please. <laughs> <laughs> they're actually like they're therapeutic for you. <laughs> but you know what? I said that today, like, because when you was like, you hate men, like, and it's just like, no, I don't hate men. I think. <laughs> you hate, you think you hate men. I don't think I hate men. Hate men. No, but I think I need to stop because everybody is not in that category at the end mm-hmm. of the day. Yes. You feel me? And everybody's not the same. I need to stop projecting what I've been through on everybody. Although yeah. you do have similar traits yeah. as That's the fine. Virgos, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Because but you aren't the like, yeah. So when yeah. I be yelling at you, it's because I don't. I'll be ready to say, man, pull up, my nigga, let's go. <laughs> Like, you're not about to do me like it. this. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, I don't want to rack around and, and it seem like I hate men. Yes. Because I do be posting my little podcast shit, but I only really post one guy, um, the ace guy. However, that's... I like him. He doesn't bash too much. He basically tells us, like, if you don't like R- it, R- leave. R.I.P. Kevin Samuel, man. He... But he was doing, he was bashing men. He wasn't bashing men. He was putting uh, niggas in their place too. And he was getting f- on women. How, both nah, ways. that. Wait, 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 don't, what? Uh, he was doing, he was doing uh, first his. First of all, he was doing sir his was getting, activist. okay. <laughs> first of all, he started off bashing men. Cool. Yeah. And if you're doing both, cool. Yeah. But when he realized he makes, he gets more views and everything when he bashed black women. He went up, and let's let's be really real. They all it's it's all controversial. I'm not saying that, that, that he's good or bad, but he he balanced the spectrum for sure. Because now it's a whole bunch of men bashing men instead of like because nobody was bashing men at the time of when Samuel what, have, what Kevin Samuel we was. We have, what, what girl we have? She's bashing? a woman. Who, who who was doing it though? I forgot her name. But do it matter when it's a no, I'm woman? Just asking. <laughs> because who is I'm she? saying when you got a man sitting over here bashing black women and making fun of the like how just like how y'all was raised, a lot of us was raised. Oh yeah, a certain type of way, y'all, especially y'all to had be it, strong. Y'all kind of y'all yes y'all, y'all and I understand that, but I'm saying so. Like, you we can't, need more nurturers. <laughs> well, shit. If y'all need more nurturers, we need more strong Same. men in yeah. the fucking household, so we can be nurturers. Yeah, it starts. It starts. From, it does. It starts from you know. This generation does not want to do that. Well, this generation has their hand out like we the men and we wear the pants, but they still want to wear the pants and take money from us. I wasn't. I wasn't <clears throat> raised with a man in the house, but I know. So. I don't know. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I think we all do fuck shit at the end of the day. I Facts. think women do fuck shit. I think men do fuck shit. Facts. I think every woman is not a victim, just like every man is not a victim. Everybody plays their parts. It takes two to destroy a relationship. It, it takes one just, misunderstanding, though, yeah, too. For one sure. misunderstanding and two people to, to to not try to understand it. Right. So I think it comes down to communication. It comes down to trust. It comes down to a lot of things, and it comes down to walking away when it no longer serves you. We don't walk away, and then it brings bitterness into our hearts. You know why some people don't walk away? Because they put so much time and so much Time I'm is, gonna I'm gonna fight for this. I'm going to try to get to because everybody don't have understanding at the first time you try it. Or, that's it, the, it's, it's it, it always takes a, a um a willingness to try at least. Right, but you got to know when the trying yeah. is done and over with, and it's really the strength of the length. Okay, the length of time that y'all been together, or mm. the strength of y'all relationship. Like you, still, you still ain't learned. Right. You still don't understand that I hate motherfucking corn. Right. <laughs> no, I'm saying though, like it be it be that yeah, shit. It be like that type of shit. Like, like you still you don't know, like corn, 
The corn. <laughs> need corn. I don't like no corn. It be like that? It be like no corn. I, I like corn, but I don't like corn on the cob, but I'm only speaking in general. <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck? I don't you like, was, I you like corn. serious about that corn. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't like, like eating corn on the cob. Like, that's, I, Who does? I, I, well, I, I use the knife yeah, some to people, scrape it. Some people will bring you a corn on the cob after you tell me you don't like corn. You know, corn on the cob. I eat the <laughs> corn, but I'm fucking with the corn on the cob. Like, we that shit where it's at. Because we don't give a fuck. And we like to do shit to make y'all mind anyway. That's so we'll problem. know. See, that's, that's We'll know that she don't like that that's shit. Men walk away if she brings you a corn on the cob <laughs> and you told her no corn on we, the cob. We know what walk you away. like, bro. We know, how to, <laughs> we know how to just get under your skin. Like, oh, we up. know he don't like corn. He I'm pissed me off her, today. I'm going to put I'm fucking corn on the cob. I'm going to put water on her makeup brush. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take all, her earring, <laughs> all no. of her earring backs. <laughs> we got uh, pencils cut, and erasers cut, back, back in the, the day. You remember them heels. erasers? I think I got an eraser on the back of one of my... Oh, I ain't got no earring on this one. Yeah, but then you got to think about it. You got to go to the store and get it, some pencils to take the eraser off. I got kids. She got uh, pencils. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. We got pencils all day. I got erasers <laughs> all day. Do what you got to don't mm. do the makeup brushes though. I feel like don't do anything to destroy my shit because I'm not destroying yours. Take all of her thongs and leave her with granny panties. That's it. I don't have granny panties. <laughs> you don't own not one pair of grannies. No. You and I no, and it's so crazy because you know the our our yeah, cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was thinking the other day, like, yeah. dang, I needed a pad because I didn't have no t- This is entirely yeah. too much information. No, you good, but you I good. need a pad because I didn't have no tampon and I didn't have no, no panties to put the pad. And I had to put the pad with the t- with the dog. That was uncomfortable. I bet that looked stupid too. <laughs> <laughs> I know that looked stupid. <laughs> I gotta be so great. Uh, well, I'm sexy. I'm I would, sexy not even when like I'm. That. That <laughs> would, I would look like, what the fuck you got on? <laughs> That's why I didn't go nowhere. You wearing a sock? What's going on? <laughs> I don't think about that. Uh, all I in your butt. <laughs> I'm sure that looks stupid. All in your butt, baby. Yes, let's take it off. Period. That is funny. I'm just saying. What you got planned for this for the uh, for the rest of this week? Homework. Homework for Homework. my business. Okay. To lead his job. I was about to say that. You That's can't like be going my. To work, <laughs> I can't be crying. I told her today, like <clears throat> you'll see me tomorrow, but every day is like a struggle. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go here again. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to do, do it that. anymore. Well, I, I've been better at getting up to go to work because I haven't been really drinking too much. So I've been like getting up and going, getting up and going. See, yeah, <laughs> it's not for me. Mm. Um, I haven't worked in so long, and I'm so used to just like everything just being so easy for me. Mm. And I think Spoiled. with me trying to do a whole three sixty on my life and go the right way, it's like kicking me in the ass. Trying because... to get out of the drug game, I feel you. Yeah, Can't and be leave all no my. More. Leave all my big daddies alone. <laughs> <laughs> all my sugar daddies is gone, long gone. Well, I mean, that, it get like that. That's why you always gotta have an escape plan. Yeah. Escape plan. We would we would talk about that, but we're gonna probably talk about that some other time though. Because I, I, I got to. I have a. You have a plan for me? No, not well. Not, oh, okay. Then I, I don't care to, to hear this. You, I'm gonna have to send you. A, um, a you always voice. tell me I need a. My bill oh, is gonna be high. Yeah, it's going up. It's going but you kind of balance it out when you call me on my shit and you and you straighten me out. And I think because you 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 balance it out because we'll be, I beat myself up I'm, too. I'm I am <clears throat> I am. Oh. I wouldn't say hard on myself, but I sh- I want to do everything that I could to make whatever idea I have go as best as I could. You're hard on yourself. Yeah. So. But I I know you're hard on yourself because I'm hard on myself. Yeah. I be telling you you hard on yourself and everybody else be telling me I'm hard on myself. Yeah, but you be hard on yourself with like yo, my yo, chin. Yo, yeah, <laughs> stuff like that. Like I'll be like, come on, like you good? You coming here with the super blinged out necklace and all that? Yeah, everybody, look at me. I'm everybody over here covering up. Everybody that's seen the podcast, Oops. like previews or whatever, they be like, oh, who is that girl? 
I'm like, man, she worried about her chin. You don't worry about I ain't worried about my <laughs> chin. I got a fucking <laughs> like, double chin. Shit. Yeah, but you, nah, you, you good. I mean, I understand you want to perfect yourself, and that's 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 being hard on yourself, and I'm the same way when it comes to certain stuff. But I'll be trying to just go. Just get it in. You be trying to drain me. Yeah, well, we got a lot of stuff coming for sure. Period. Yeah. I can't wait. I don't even more want to say episodes. nothing about what what, what we gonna have because well for sure more wait. episodes definitely so more episodes you guys can look out for the episodes and more guests definitely way more guests can't wait to have the guests that we are going to have yeah big 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 everybody big, big. the list is big because the list is super big. That's you go good, hard right. or you go that's, home, right? That's dope because everybody we do got a do- t- dope little list so. Stay tuned. Period. Stay tuned. I, that just made me even more excited. Like, that's oh dope. Oh, my God. I'm the negative Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> because that is dope. I it had to is. think about that. We got like, a dope ass list. Like, yeah. Stay tuned. Shout for out that. to everybody. Um, some of the list is some of my booze. No, I'm just oh <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But shout out to everybody that we have coming on. Um, shout out to all the viewers. Shout out to all the subscribers we've yes. been getting. Shout out to all it's the big. engagement. Like it's yeah. dope. In the last, we just released, and I think we we just made a hundred follow um, subscribers, which is it's small, but it's big. Right. Like a hundred fast like that. Like I've seen people do um, YouTube for at least years. They only got like seventy five or. Something like that. We have like to 150 almost. That's dope. So. We good. We lit. So. <laughs> <laughs> stay tuned you for the next episode, you know. No, stay tuned for the next episode. Stay tuned for everything. Damn. I'm excited though, too. Conversation never on the block. Bars open. Bars open. Bars open. Bars open.